friends! Thanks for stopping by. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Emily and this is Emily Budgets. My husband and I use the cash envelope system to budget all our money that comes in, everything down to the last penny. And in today's video, we are going to do my monthly budget for April, which I'm super excited about. I really liked doing my March monthly budget and so I thought this would be a great time to do it again for April. So here, and I think last time I did it on binder paper, um, I revamped my weekly budget breakdown and just added a little bit to it for it to be my monthly budget breakdown. But now it's on a nice pretty spreadsheet. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna do pink today with my pen. I have my calculator and let me get you zoomed in. All right, there we go, nice and zoomed in. And so this is for April 2024. And I always like to start off with the income. So I'm gonna to try to write straight, but I tend to write diagonal, so we'll see how this goes. But my first paycheck, I'm expecting to make at least 1600 at the end of the month, my husband goes off to school in Arizona, so I don't expect to work a lot of overtime, so that's why my paychecks aren't going to be as much as normal, just because I just don't have time to work overtime. Uh, the second paycheck is for my husband's unemployment. That's going to be 900 Then my second paycheck will be, I am estimating 1800 because I do have a weekend where I can work overtime, so it'll work out. So I'm bumping it up just a little bit. And then my second, my husband's second paycheck from unemployment will be 900. And then I'm expecting an extra income. It's kind of funny, I sold some things on eBay and then I have this bonus coming from work. So I'm actually expecting 1200 in extra income. Hopefully it comes all in April. If not, some of it will go into the maze budget. But yeah, that's what I'm expecting for our income for April. So let's add that up. We have 1600, 900, 1800, 900, and 1200. So 6400 which I think that's a little bit more than last month, so that will be nice, especially since I think we have extra expenses this month because of the move. All right, now let's go down to the bills and make sure you're still in frame. Okay, so mortgage is gonna be 660. Kaiser will be 170. And I'm doing whole dollars, it just makes it easier. I d actually do it to the cents with my weekly budget that I don't film. I might start filling, filming those in the future. Just right now I don't have the time for it. Even this video is a little bit late just because we've been extremely busy. Uh, but student loan will be 150. Oh yeah, and I forgot to ask, how's everyone doing? I hope you all are doing well and enjoying April so far. I hope it's treating you nicely. The we weather is getting better and I hope you guys have some great financial achievements this month. Let's see, Verizon also 150. Ollie we're gonna do 190. Merrick which is our camping trailer will be 464. Kemper which is our Car insurance, 269 and I wonder if it will go down this year after renewal. Probably not. at and t is going to be 106 And then I had someone tell me that the federal government hasn't renewed that low-income internet discount, which is kind of sad because I feel like if you give, give internet to low income, it helps the economy. So I hope they do renew it. PG&E is going to get, I'm estimating 310. Um, 
last month I estimated 350 it actually ended up being 310 so I'm going to do 310 this month and hopefully it's lower we haven't started using the air conditioning yet fans are fine and we haven't been we haven't needed to put on the heater in a long time so which is great waste management I'm going to do 37 City Utilities 58, which is the standard, Water 30, Geico 60, this is for our motorcycle insurance, and then Apple is 4. And I bumped up Geico because I know our renewal is coming up in May, and I think we'll be able to pay the six months in full if we keep on bumping it up. All right, so adding that up all together, comes to $2,658 for our monthly bills, including our mortgage, which I think is a pretty good amount. So we'll do $6,400 minus $2,658. So that leaves $3,742. All right, so let's go down first to our debt. I have the car payment down here and our credit cards. And our car payment is $660, or a truck payment actually. And credit cards, I'm going to put 400 since we do have an estimated higher budget than last month I am gonna increase paying off our credit cards we don't have that many but just to pay it off faster so that comes to 1060 and then we'll do the remaining after we get through cash envelopes alright so cash envelopes Groceries, I'm going to do 600. That's 150 a week. I wish I could have done the 140, but it just doesn't seem possible at the, this moment for both of us plus Yoda. Uh, toiletries, I'm going to do 60. We have been doing fine with $15 a week with that now that we have a Costco envelope. Uh, let's see. Gas, we're going to do 180, so that's 45 a week. Yoda will be 80, so 20 a week. Mr. 120, so he gets his usual 30 a week. Mine is 80, which is 20 a week. Um, let's see. Date night, I was going to do 75 a week, but I think... I'm only going to do 50 a week, so that's 200 and that just helps us. I know it's $50 a week, but we have to fly to Arizona, and so that just will help cover some costs. Um, our flight's are already paid for, hotel's are already paid for, so it's just, you know, food and stuff and getting the apartment ready. We'll be apartment hunting in a couple of weeks, and then take out... I'm going to do 400 so $100 a week, but mainly it's for our trips, flying there, and then we'll be driving to Arizona, so it covers, obviously we can't cook, so we'll be dining out or ordering, you know, going through the drive through doing DoorDash or whatever. So let's add this up. So we're at 1720 which we... Divided that by four weeks, it's 430, which is a little bit higher, but that's okay. I usually tr like to stay under 400 for our, our weekly cash envelopes. So let's see, 3742 minus the 1720 leaves 2022 minus the 1060. So leaves a balance of 962. All right, now we're going to go to the savings challenges. Emily savings, I have 200 a month go into my 
Capital One High Yield Savings. It, it's directly deposited from my check. And then bank savings is $25 a week, so that way we get free checking, so that's $100. And then the 1K savings challenge, the four envelopes we're doing comes to 130, so that equals $430. So let's see, 962 minus 430 leaves us 532. which leaves us to figure out our sinking funds and all right this will be fun <laughs> so let's see divided by four that's about hundred thirty dollars per paycheck so not too bad okay so beauty I usually do two uh, forty no eighty dollars a month so twenty dollars a week but I'm going to cut it in half because I feel like I have a good amount in there and I don't have a hair appointment for a while. So we're just going to do $10 a week, so $40. Uh, let's see. Let's do the $20 ones, the $5 a week because that will make it easier. So let's do birthdays, gifts. anniversary a Quinn is five dollars a week a Yoda will be five dollars a week because he has his rollover money we're not putting anything in Opoop right now which is our emergency fund because we are doing the 1K savings challenge for our baby step. Uh, let's see. Costco, we can do 20. Emily and Hubby, we could do $5 a week. Uh, let's see, school, I would like to do 40. Uh, clothing 40 electronics we could do 20 maybe if I make more I could put more in there um, let's see Elec RX let's do 12 so that would be three dollars a week and let's see car tags we need to do 80 Christmas, ooh, this has got to be hard. Let's do car maintenance 20, Christmas 20. So car maintenance 20, Christmas 20. So 100. We won't put anything in meals because we're doing the we're using the takeout money and the date night money for any meals we need while we're in Arizona. And let's see. We'll skip hotel because that's already paid for. And so let's do 80 in flight. So that's $20 a week. And we'll do 20 in gas. So minus 80, minus 20. So this should equal the 532. So let's add that up real fast. Yep, the 532. So remaining zero. We don't have anything going in our buffer, which is our virtual coin jar. Zero, zero dollars remaining, so this makes it a zero-based budget. We used everything down to the penny, and obviously when I do my weekly um, 
budget breakdown that will have the cents in it and I'll probably have a couple of cents going towards our virtual coin jar which is our buffer so yeah so let me zoom you out so there we go April budget is done hopefully we bring in this amount of money and it looks like it's going to be a little bit tight but that's understandable with the move to Arizona at least for my husband I'm not moving he is I'll just be visiting a lot hence while I'm saving up for flights and I hope you enjoyed this video so don't forget to subscribe like and comment and I will see you in my next video which will be the weekly cash stuffing for week one of April all right have a great day bye friends